The Siege of Owari was a military conflict between Nigerian and Biafran forces. The capture was a major victory for the Biafrans because the victory opened up telephone lines, enhanced road telecommunications, and showed that with stiff resistance, Biafra could defeat Nigerian forces. Chapter 1 Prelude In July 1968, commander of the 3rd Marine Commando, Colonel Benjamin Adekunle began making plans for an invasion of Abba, Owari, and Umuahia, in a military operation he nicknamed Operation R. Adekunle stated that he would be able to capture all three cities in two weeks. Adekunle's strategy was to surround a city and starve it into submission before attacking its weakened defenders. After 12 days of violent fighting in Abba, the three MCDO managed to capture the city on September 14, followed by Owari on September 16. When the three MCDO was pushed back at Umuahia, the Nigerians retreated to Owari, where they set up defenses in and around the city. The Biafrans made their way down the Abba Umuahia Road and managed to capture the entire road along with Abba on October 15. Chapter 2 The Siege on 15 October 1968, while Nigerian head of state Yakubu Gaon was distracted by the anti-tax riots in the West, the Biafran brigadier Alexander Madibo encircled Owari while a unit of Biafran soldiers attacked Nigerian supply convoys attempting to enter the city. The Biafrans were assisted by heavy rain and mud which slowed down supply convoys even further. On 3 December the Biafran 14th Division under Colonel Og Hugo Kalu and 63rd Brigade under Colonel Lambert Ihe Nacho moved towards Owari, capturing the villages of Eziama and Ilelem. On 5 December the Biafran 60th Brigade under Colonel Azuma Sawyer began the main assault on Owari, in which over 50,000 rounds of ammunition, 300 mortars, 200 howitzer shells, and 20 anti-tank weapons were fired. The assault lasted for two days but the 3,000-man Nigerian 16th Division under Colonel E.A. Chuk stayed in their original position, while suffering heavy casualties. The Biafran 68th Battalion under Major Ikiji gained control of a stretch of the Port Harcourt Road from Owari to the Otomiri River, establishing a link with the 63rd Brigade. On 19 December 16th Division regrouped its soldiers and captured the town of Obiaka, followed by Ava and Afrola on 29 December. On 6 January 1969 the Biafran 60th Brigade captured Umuakpu, Umuaguo, and Omanalu while the Biafran 68th Battalion under Major Ikiji seized Abinza, the 68th Battalion attempted to capture Ava but were beaten back by the Nigerian 16th Brigade. By the end of the day, the Biafrans controlled much of the Port Harcourt Road and began planting mines, digging ditches, and laying trees across it in an attempt to block any Nigerian reinforcements from entering Owari. On 15 January the Biafran 60th Brigade attacked Owari and were able to force the 16th Division to retreat across the Ottomanai Bridge. Instead of pursuing the retreating Nigerians, the hungry and half-naked Biafran soldiers discovered the Nigerians' food and clothing supplies and decided to have their fill. The Nigerian 16th Brigade was able to regroup and made a counter-attack across the Ottomanai Bridge, causing the Biafrans to retreat. On 24 January the Nigerian government renewed its offensive and began bombing Biafran positions in the area. After five days of continuous air strikes, the Biafrans remained in their original positions, the Nigerian government knew that Owari was encircled, and they couldn't do anything about it. On 7 February both the Nigerian Air Force, and Egyptian mercenaries bombed out and completely destroyed the villages of Amohigu and Ozu Obom, which prompted accusations of deliberately targeting civilians. The government ordered the Nigerian Air Force to avoid civilian targets, but they disregarded this request and continued to bomb towns and Red Cross shelters. In late February, General Gaon visited the 16th Brigade in Owari and attempted to encourage them to keep fighting until reinforcements could be sent. On 14 March Nigerian troops attempted to capture the Omanalu Umuakpu and Alele Ubimini Awara roads but were beaten back by defending Biafran soldiers, leaving them isolated and short of food. 
On 15 March the Biafranes Division under Major Timothy Onwatu Egwu made a frontal assault on the 16th Brigade but was forced to halt after suffering heavy casualties. Major Onwatu Egwu placed half of his men under the command of Major Joseph Achuzi and were able to get within one kilometre of the city. Major Achuzi demanded total control of the S Division but was refused by Onwatu Egwu and the two men almost shot each other after drawing their guns. President Ojuku stepped in and gave Major Achuzi control of the S Division for one week, continuing the frontal assault on Owari. Achuzi's plan ultimately failed and he retreated after suffering heavy casualties, Ojuku then immediately restored Onwa to Egwu's commander and began drawing up new plans for invading Owari. On 31 March the Biafran 14th Division under Ogugo Kalu attacked Owari and secured control over 70% of the city. Biafran soldiers began intercepting radio waves that revealed the 16th Brigade was going to execute all Biafran POWs due to a lack of food. The Swedish pilot Carl Gustav von Rosen and his Biafra Babies Fighter Squadron, consisting of six MFI-9 junior fighters, constantly hounded Nigerian airdrops, making Nigerian food supplies scarce. On 20 April Ichuk's second-in-command, Major Ted Hammond, was shot and killed in Owari by a Biafran sniper who had managed to get within firing range. On 24 April the remaining 300 soldiers of the Nigerian 16th Division began fighting their way out of Owari and escaped into Nigerian-held territory on 25 April. Chapter 3, Aftermath Two days before Owari's capture, the Biafran capital, Umuahia, fell to Colonel Mohamed Shuwa's 1st Division and the capital was moved to Abba. Once Owari was retaken, the Biafran capital was once again moved, now to Owari. The Biafrans held on to Owari for over eight months until the Nigerian 3rd Marine Division, under Colonel Olusegun Obasanjo, attacked and occupied the city on January 7, 1970.